Let's give us a little bit of go here. Wow, we got the rear wheels. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, wow. This is a quick car, quick truck, excuse me. Wow. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Peter's Auto Block. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Today, we're going to get to review and give a test drive to this 2024 Ford F 250 Limited. Now, it's not very often that you see a limited version of the Super Duty CR. These are kind of rare. You kind of have to order them. So, when I saw this one here at the dealer's lot, had to take advantage of it and go ahead and review this one. Now, I've reviewed quite a bit of uh, new 2024 and 2023 Super Duties. If you want to browse my channel for the King Ranch, the regular version, the short version, the cheapest version, I've done almost quite a bit of them except for a limited. Now, of course, as you know, the limited is the very best, the top of the trim, basically the creme of the creme of Super Duties. Now, this one here comes with basically almost every toy you can get except for some accessories, but you got almost everything you can throw at at a super duty now this this one here is finished off in a gay black with the admiral blue interior that these are the specialty of this super or this limited trucks as you can see guys these are basically this is in a crew cap with the 6.75 foot bed basically the only way you can get this limited model so this specialty models crew cap and this type of bed now of course i wish for it out for maybe you know uh, an extended you know a cab or something smaller or even a something a little bit different but obviously this is the only way that ford offers these higher trimmed uh super duties now as you can see this one here is equipped with the fx4 package we got the 20 inch 275 millimeter tires these are bridgestone kind of dual or altering tires you can see a little more aggressive with a beautiful 20 inch wheel of That's course this fx4 mean. package comes with the skid plate you got hill descent the 4x4 system a little more uh off-road uh modes and gives you of course a hill descent and all that kind of great stuff as well now coming here in the back we got led tail lights and of course you got the huge bumper here also finished in a gear black here as you can see we already got your receiver hitch ready to go Twenty-two thousand pounds this super duty can tow if i'm correct of course here you got the limited applique here in the very back as you can see really beautiful aluminum trim here that you get with the limited and the platinums the ability we have the key here with as you can see we have remote start open close and we have the ability to do a double click on the door and automatic open for you there as you can see really cool the way that is we also have another camera right here if you're towing and you want to keep the the bed door then you can definitely have a camera to see in the back we also have of course your step that comes with this one everything comes with this super duty we also have the ruler right here as you can see this one also comes with a factory for spraying bed liner there's a little sticker right there that kind of detects that we also have of course your uh, automatic or your rear window right there now as you can see also when you get a limited you also get the two kilowatt power on board as standard you have your connections right over here and i've got two more connections here as well of course you can do a lot and i believe this is as much you can do in the super duties uh i know you can do up to 7.2 kilowatts i don't know if that's available in the super duties i'll put that information for you guys up on the screen but fantastic you already have your connections there you also got you're ready for your fifth wheel as well that comes standard with this suit this uh limited and of course you got a lot of hooks and things like that surrounding this bed back here which is really nice of course you can do about 3200 pounds of payload i'll put that number for you guys up on the screen i know this can tow about 22,000 pounds this super duty with this engine and this 404 of course you got more accessories so this is not the heaviest thing you, this is not the most powerful or the most capable towing rig because it's got a lot of toys but it does tow quite well with this f-250 so if you want to bring just your bed up you don't have to put it up you just have to do a double click and this bed automatically will come up and assist you in your daily now, coming in here guys you can see we got the led tail lights we got your sensors here and this is equipped with for the latest and greatest ford copilot 360 with all kinds of detection all around the truck train assist blind assist all kinds of things love the way i get black that this truck is, is finished up it's not easy to keep clean but it looks fantastic we have another step right here of course you can see that and here we have of course your diesel with your def filler right there on the side 
course, being a crew cab, you can tell this is just awesome. Now this one does have automatic steps as well. Once we open the door, coming here, we got, of course, heated and folding mirrors, extended mirrors for towing. You here you have your limited dash, as you can see there with a little bit of FX2, and these are functional air entrances right there, or air curtains. We have the same wheels on the very front. As you can see coming here to the front, this one also has your little roof marker lights in the very top as well. Here in the front, we got LED projector, headlights, fog lights and of course we got daytime running lights as well and on an LED here's your front grille for this Super Duty which is the limited special version for the trucks we got the big Ford bash right there with a the front facing camera we got your aluminum or basically your chrome tow hooks and coming in here as you can see we got some more of that AK black here we as you can see we got a front lip spoiler right here in the front we got your LED fog lights right there as you can see they're pretty cool this is I mean the best of the best you can get with the Ford Super Duty as you can see the Super Duty stamp here on the very front love the hood just an awesome truck and of course being the limited this is a uh, little over $101,000 dollars are asking right now for this basically used truck and it's only got about 8,500 miles as we check inside of it. So it's a Priscilla brand new truck. I don't know what the story is. Somebody returned it, somebody didn't want to pay the big monthly payments or somebody didn't need their money back. Now let's go ahead and check out what's powering this Super Duty Limited. As you can see guys, we're just gonna open up the hood. Let's touch it up here and thank you for for putting hydraulic shocks kind of expected in this six figure truck and here we have this 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel v8 500 horsepower 1200 pound feet of torque in this high output version that you get standard with this limited models of course this is the best engine you can get for the super duties of course this is the best model so of course going to include the best engine in this limited model for the price of course this has got dual batteries dual alternators to pump up the two liter kilowatt pro power on board as well Fantastic engine, of course, you can get the lesser horsepower diesel engine or the 2 v 8 now that we have as well. If you want to check out some of my reviews on the other former trim models, you can do a uh, review on Browse My Channel. But this is what it is, guys, with the super limited model. Of course, this is going through a 10-speed automatic transmission and the 4x4 system that this Super Duty has. So that's basically your train, the powertrain system for the Super Duty. In terms of fuel economy, that depends, guys. But we've seen around 15 miles per gallon, give or take, depending on how you drive or your toy. But that's what kind of the, this... Uh, turbo diesels get in terms of fuel mileage and of course you get huge 28 31 or 40 gallon gas tanks on this super duty depending on the model but there you go guys here's the power plant for this super duty limited model let's go ahead and bring this down and there we go and right, let's go ahead and check out the interior of this limited super duty as you can see here we have this beautiful admiral blue leather combination of alcantara headliner interior really nice the way this is as you can see here in the sun you get that mix of like a light aqua blue the white stitching you get a bit of aluminum light gray here in the very bottom a lot of spaces to store your stuff here Megan Olsen speaker as you can see there a little more storage space and a little bit of kind of carbon fiberish look really nice now as you can see guys here we have the blue leather kind of two-tone leather a bit of a light kind of perforated and got that really beautiful stitching as you can see there the way the pattern is the quilted pattern is really really nice the way this is really awesome as you can see got this extends all the way up got the limited bash right there and of course these seats do kind of go up as well and come down all kinds of things that the regular super duties do now as you can see we got the front seats here with the kind of extended uh you know back um support as well as you can see we got the leather here we got the pocket right there as well and here we got a center armrest too we bring this down you can see we got the center armrest with a couple of cup holders let's go ahead and uh, jump up and see how good and beautiful this interior is gotta get our stuff here which is really nice handle uh, so here we are inside of this super duty as you can see very spacious very roomy very comfortable seats especially with all this leather as you can see but now this one here is equipped with the panoramic sunroof that comes standard with this limited down here guys you can see we got the center console where we got a couple of cup holders we got USB ports, we got two, two AC outlets, we got the buttons for the heated seats here in the back, house connection there and a 12 volt as well. So we got a lot of connections here as you can do, a lot of great things here for the rear passengers. I really love this interior, it really looks fantastic, this emerald blue. Of course we got your automatic window right here in the very back. And you can see the letter here in the sun kind of looks kind of aquish, navy bluish. Yeah, it's got a really, really unique color to this limited. But I wanted to see you guys, you can see this is the best of the best you can get with this Super Duties. And of course, here we got like an Alcantara light gray headliner, which is really nice as well. That comes with its trucks. But you can see guys, there we go. Beautiful finished interior. And of course, we got the new interior here of this Super Duty. Let's go ahead and get it to the driver's side of this Super Duty. As you can see, your automatic step comes down here. Your basically your automatic running board. Now coming here guys, you can see we have the rest of this beautiful interior, this Admiral Blue extends to the front, aluminum trim, all your controls for your windows and mirrors. Of course, your mirrors do fold in as well and are heated. We got also a memory settings here for your front seats. Now, as you can see guys, we got the limited model. We got all kinds of, I believe these are eight 10-way power seats with heat and ventilation as well. 
Love that center, that's kind of a backrest here as well as you can see with a limited model two-tone there with kind of quilt pattern there. So you can see that we got the leather carbon steering wheel with a limited model here, a bit of aluminum trim with uh, also some kind of graphite or, you know, graphite uh, trim there. As you can see there, we got a bit of aluminum surrounding here. The bezel, really nice, American flag, really beautiful leather. Then the leather kind of extends as you can see all the way down to the dash as well. This is a little bit dirty, guys, I apologize. But of course you got automatic tilting and telescope and steering wheel as you can see there. The best of the best also we got the basically powered pedals as well as you can adjust your pedals a little bit of storage here on the side as you can see there on the center console and uh, all right let's go ahead guys and jump inside and we're inside of this super duty limited model as you can see guys beautiful interior all kinds of blues and you can tell all the high quality materials and love the service that gives you a little more light here we have your uplift for switches let's go ahead guys and put this truck and get this thing on we're gonna press our start start stop button right there and get this this diesel started get all our screens done as well really nice interior of course you got the best of the best in terms of materials design all the stuff that you get with this limited truck of course hundred thousand dollars should give you some pretty good materials and options let's turn it up here because as you can see we got the sunroof this comes standard with this limited models as well as here as your uplifter switches to put all the accessories you want to install we do have also a glass or sunglass holder right there we got lights controls here for your lights and of course controls for the, for the sunroof we got your rear view mirror as you can see right there and here you got that alcantara suede headliner done in light gray as you can see like a light slate as they call it here we got your mirrors you can see really nice all this kind of fancy equipment looks more like a luxury car instead of a truck up here you guys you get a little more storage space we do have a banging olsen speaker right over here this has got i believe a 14 speaker bang on olsen system uh, that's included with this trucks now coming down here we got the upper glock box you can see we got the button right there it's kind of have a kind of fiber look to it that's really nice we got the super duty stump here on the aluminum trim really nice lower glove box you can see plenty of room we'll check it let's go ahead and take out the build sheet but we'll look at in just a few moments we got the total connection house connection here we have your dual sony ac which is really nice with seat uh front uh heated and ventilated seats i see i got the cool seats right now on it feels fantastic controls physical controls for your radio as you can see we got a 14 speaker bang and also system which sounds fantastic really really nice stereo uh coming here to the left we got your basically your drive modes with your 4x4 controls 4x4 high to low we have your rear locker and we have four low for drive modes we do have as you can see guys we have normal we have slippery we have the off-road version right there as you can see coming back this way we have uh tow and haul and then we have economy mode as you can see now of course depending on your mode you're going to have this this uh digital 12 inch display change if we, for example if we go back to off-road now here we're going to install that we're going to go and we're going to it's going to give us our mode here it's going to give us our camera here front camera as you can see we got trajectory lines into the front that's awesome to see if you're going to go off-road gives you that ability and of course you're coming to the screen we're going to get that off-road angles and all kinds of screens that that changes depending on the mode as you can see that's awesome to have of course you got your tachometer there speedometer and all kinds of angles and that's fantastic to have in these trucks especially for off-road we're going to go back to normal mode since we're not really going to go off-road but uh there we go guys so that's the center screen as you can see we got the beautiful leather covered steering wheel controls for your adaptive cruise control and we also have controls here for your center cluster as you can see there really cool this does not have ports blue cruise on this truck as of yet on the f-150s you do but not on this truck if i'm correct Come here. fantastic audio system with michael jackson playing so we got 14 speakers including a subwoofer we got navigation of course you got phone connections apple carplay android auto you got google alexa all kinds of things you can do nowadays now of course this system has got the latest sync 4a with 5g and up to 10 connections for phones which is fantastic here you got your kind of old center your second screen here where you can kind of like a widget you can put here you can put your navigation all kinds of other things you want to put there of course this has got all kinds of configurations i don't think you have i don't know if we have on settings uh let me see if we have also we might have some seats yeah we do have seats here and we do have massage seats as well that kind of should come started with this hundred thousand dollar truck so you got massage seats and all kinds of other great things that you can do to these trucks as i mentioned you got all center consoles here we got your wireless phone charging right there this can also be closed down as well here we got a little more aluminum trim with that kind of kind of fiberish look as you can see usb ports here usb ports on here as well we got the limited model right here as you can see on our center console and we have a little tray down here with 10 cents you already get a discount and we got more usb ports as well connections a and b 
cup holders here got more center storage here as you can see there as well and i mentioned the 12 volt connection and the house prong there coming up here guys you can see we got the wild and Olsen system you guys you can see that leather up here as well with that stitching there that's really nice of this this trucks and of course you see that that navy blue continues all the way up here as well then here we got a brake controller right kind of got brake assist with the diesel we got your camera button right there this has got the 360 degree camera as you can see there with all kinds of sensors and of course if we go down here we got all kinds of cameras to the front to the rear and we also got a bed camera there as you can see there so lots of cameras you can see guys pretty good awesome features that this has we'll turn it off we got here basically your hill assist we got your intermittents your, your hazards we have your hill descent and we have no hill descent and we got your truck control off and this is probably your trail turn assist if i'm correct but uh, there we go guys wanted to give you guys a quick look at this f250 limited if you guys want a little more detail on the interior go check out and browse my channel for the other f250 especially the king ranch model but here here we have the best of the best of this uh super duty trucks all right let's go ahead and shut the door but before we shut the door let's go ahead and hear this diesel v8 a little bit even though diesel's not like to be revved standing still but man the, the whole truck moves sounds fantastic that diesel engine that high output diesel let's go ahead and close the door before we go on guys i don't know if the camera's going to capture we do have a head-up display as well that's brand new for these trucks uh, that can be adjusted up and down and you have the information for speedometer you got the time and the temperature i'm sure you can put a little more information that that's more kind of customizable to your liking now before we go on guys let's go ahead and take a look i did find the sticker original sticker for this truck even though this is a 2024 and it's got as you can see it's got 1446 miles so it's still pretty much a brand new truck somebody paid of course a pretty funny but here we go guys here we have the basically the super duty here's your build sheet you can see guys it get black 2024 and you can see we got the for equipment and this one here it starts at 97,095. so as you can see here it comes with everything standard except the 331 axle 435 the weather floor mats 135 the off-road package is 500 bucks uh roof clearance lights basically the marker lights 95 bucks and the tough paint spray liner for 595 for a total price of 100,840 dollars for this super duty limit um and i believe uh bar to 40 is asking eight uh, hundred hundred and one thousand so basically the but the asking price or basically the msrp they're asking for this truck i mean it's got eight thousand miles it's brand still pretty much brand new so these are this uh super duty limited are not, are not easy to find so this truck you're gonna have to kind of order it uh you'll probably find the platinums in the stock but not limited ones as you can see guys so but there we go here's the interior and this beautiful layout of the super duty let's go ahead guys and go out for a test drive let's go ahead and get our put this on d and let's go ahead guys and check out this awesome f-250 of course we got 1200 pound feet of torque with this girl here single rear wheel not a dually this things look fantastic in a dually version i think i like it the big butt girls uh, but this is a great truck i mean lots of technologies this has got more technology sometimes more luxury features than an actually luxury car to be honest a lot of more capabilities as well but we'll go and take a quick drive in this super duty and uh, i like this thing this is awesome truck the suspension is a little bit stiffer this does not have to, i think you can get the tremor with the limited but i'm not sure i think it's all the way up to the platinums but not the limited if i'm correct brakes feel good oh you can just feel the torque of this engine this is a massive power plant i don't know if the camera's going to capture that head up display it looks very clear all right guys i'm going to come let's go ahead and go I think it's about this truck. You can get a little bit on it because this is not broken in yet already. Whoa, oh my God. <laughs> oh, shit. The torque in this thing is amazing. Holy crap, this thing is quick. <laughs> Especially empty, of course. Wow, this is a quick truck. And there we go with that. I'm touching those white lanes in that Ford Assist is right on my butt you know adjusting the steering wheel now so we got a little more we got the trajectory lines going on the head up display i hope the camera captures it it says that my speed limit is 45 of course and then we're doing 53 uh pretty nice very clear display to the head up display over here on the side we got our mirrors here which do fold in telescope on and do a lot of things adjustments for when you are towing and this is a huge truck compared to this i3 from bmw here you can see a little tiny electric vehicle there compared to this gargantuan f-250 wow this is a now 
first of all, very smooth riding truck. The suspension is really nice. I, the, what the, I think the nicest truck in terms of suspension has been this FX4, but the one in the King Ranch, I don't know if it's different, but super well, very, very similar to this. I mean, it's just fantastic the way this thing rides. Very nice, kind of luxury car, to be honest. It doesn't feel like a truck, and even with the live axle in the rear. Mirrors are fantastic, as you can see there. Wow, it's such a smooth truck. A little bit of wind noise up here in the A pillars, but nothing much. Very quiet, no road, no really not much road noise, just basically more wind noise. You can barely hear the diesel engine as well. So this is gonna be a little bit extra insulated considering this is a limited model. Um, I'm not sure about that, but this sure a little bit more refined. It's a little bit windier today, but not by much, but this thing does feel very good. And the ride is actually pretty good. That doesn't feel like you're riding on a truck at all very nice i mean of course unless the roads become a lot more uh crazy a lot more bumpy but i'm sure that's when the truck can feel the suspension but overall a fantastic truck you can see everything's here your fingertips great interior fantastic stereo too oh a great song as well let's go guys i'm just gonna set it go nobody coming so let's go ahead and uh let's give this, let's give this a little bit of go here Wow, we got the rear wheels. Oh my God. Oh wow. This is a quick car, quick truck, excuse me. Wow. Yeah, we, we spun the wheels there a little bit. Then traction control kicked in. Wow, yeah, this is 200. This is the first time I'm kind of leaning more on the truck. Not really pushing it, but I mean, the other ones I've tested were brand new. I didn't want to, yeah, but not that this is a use and it's got it's broken in a little bit. This is a shitload of torque. It's part of my French foot, wow. This thing feels like a locomotive just on full tilt. It's so torquey and so quick too, especially, you know, with no weight. Um, wow, impressive truck, I'll be honest. Very powerful truck. I mean, yeah, this is, I mean, these things are made to tow 22,000 pounds and this is a perfect engine for that. Really impressive, to be honest. Now, steering wheel is nice. The steering is pretty direct compared, I mean, considering these big tires, this big, you know, kind of 33 inch tires. Uh, wow, this is a this is definitely refined. I mean, impressed with this truck. Um, the very best of the F250. Of course, you can go. They can have this model as well. You can do limited in the F350, F450 as well. Uh, so depending on the truck you need and the towing capabilities. But wow, this thing is amazing. Yeah, and then just wow, it's just the torque hits like a monster. <laughs> oh my god, you gotta be careful with this thing in the what? The brakes? Yeah, the brakes. I mean, they feel. Not, I don't say there's didn't have a lot of ton of brake, but I would definitely put some good pads on these things. You can, you're carrying a lot of weight. I'm sure this truck's 8,000 pounds the way it is. If not, I'll correct. I'll put that for you guys up on the screen what this truck weight is. But pretty impressive truck in terms of the, the acceleration is impressive. And wow, well, yeah, this is this is you can tell this is a. Uh, I mean, this is this worth a hundred grand? That's a lot of money now. This for a truck. I mean, you're talking, you know, luxury car in the upper end, you know, luxury car. But this is a lot of truck for the money, in terms of the technology. It's got onboard scales as well. I forgot to mention that you got onboard scales as well. So turning this truck, yeah, it's a big truck, but wow, this thing is just so good, and this thing just the torque in this is so beautiful. It's fun to drive. Yeah, I mean, this is not going to give you any good highway mileage. You're going to be done in the taint, but wow, very impressive truck. The suspension is a little, that you feel that in the bumps where this the truck suspension really comes in, but overall, over a nice smooth highway, this is a really nice riding truck. Obviously, it's not easy to tune these type of trucks with an FX4 package or Tremor and still be comfortable and have that off-road ability as well. That's going to be a heavy chore, especially with these heavy trucks. But there we go, guys. Let me know what you guys think of this 2024 Ford F-250 Limited. The best F-250 or the best super or best trim you can get in the Super Duties with all this blue interior. The I mean, if you want to go and get all the toys, might as well, you know, pay the price and get something like this. Um, I'm not crazy about the blue interior. I mean, it's nice. I, be honest with you, I prefer the King Ranch version of this thing, uh, which is just, just nice of a leather really nice leather and of course you get the same engine and this one here the high put engine the same suspension and then you can probably even go tremor on that um on the uh, super i think you can do tremor as well in this uh super duties on this uh, limited but i'll put that on the screen for you guys if i may say if i can do it so but let me know what, what you guys think of this 
2024 limited super duties let me know in the comments if you guys made it this far into the video thank you so very much i really appreciate it hope you guys enjoyed this quick review of this limited model i know it's an expensive truck but man it is a lot of truck and very powerful one at that and let's go ahead and park here on the spot guys and we'll check out the reverse camera once again real quick here get our reverse camera. you can see guys very quick camera of course you can just make that the whole screen there if i'm correct there we go very clear screen very clear graphics of course you got also sensors in the back as well with our 360 degree cameras and uh there we go guys let's put this in park 2024 f250 limited let me know your thoughts on price the equipment engine if anybody has one i don't know why this one got turned in it's only got as i mentioned just under 8500 miles so somebody must have not wanted the payments was tired of it god knows what but there we go guys have a fantastic afternoon evening or day wherever you are thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video take care bye bye